Hey there guys, and I'm back with Medieval 2 Total War with the Scottish Campaign and something rather amusing just happened. Not this, um, uh, more rioting there. I expected that, because it's kind of, uh, oh, oh no, they're actually happy now. Okay. Looks like we got this under control finally. Um, got all of those units in there. Uh, I was still moving oh, no. downward here, it's taking Your forever, name, but uh, yeah, Sicily was destroyed because the Papal States went and took their city. Oh Jesus, you know it is really amusing that basically <laughs> the Papal States have expanded the most I've ever seen them expand. So now Sicily has been taken over, and that's one less faction for us I guess. But yeah, that was basically all. I don't think there was anything really happening now. Go and upgrade this place. Yeah, yeah, I just done that. I got a bunch of traits, but basically I'm working on waiting until Venice um, have stopped doing this and then uh, wiping them out. So yeah. Well, here I am, guys, trying to get an alliance with the Byzantine Empire. Even though it's just for lulls, uh, I'm gonna try and get an alliance. We cannot and they rejected it. Again! So I'm not even gonna bother, I'm just gonna go and uh, crush them after I've dealt with Venice, so yeah. Okay guys, I'm back, and basically what it stands at now is I have both sieged, hopefully the last Moor village, uh, Moors, Moorish village. This is the capital, so I assume it is, though there is an R part over here. I'll probably just say, yeah, I, I forgot to mention um, the the general here, I forget his name, David Canmore, I think it was, I think it was. Uh, he basically died on the way down there. Okay, that's the, there we go. So, well, my faction here is 56 years old. Where, I think it was, no, not him. He had like uh, 10 command, probably one of my best generals, and uh, I don't know where on the tree he was. Yeah, that, that, that guy deserted. Was it this guy? I think it was this guy, but uh, he died peacefully a couple turns ago. Yeah, it was last... Uh... Okay. So yes, he has died on his way down there. But on the plus side, I've taken over all of Venice's cities. You know, you know I kind of had them waiting outside here. So, yep. And the Pope uh, asked me to stop attacking Venice, but I don't care. I'm going to wipe them out right now. And also, the Money. Merchants Guild asked me to get trade rights with the Byzantine Empire. You have a and I figure this is something people. that we could probably actually get. We accept there this you proposal go. Only under great duress. So that's Fair fairly way. simple. I get trade rights with them now. Just a hundred florins. <laughs> Not even worth it. My and tank. we Losing can now the attack enemy. these guys. So I'm going to go save and we're going to go attack the last Venetian town. That's actually a castle. So yeah. Right, so th I think this is the leader, the faction leader, but all he has is peasants, really, so, uh, yeah, this shouldn't be too difficult. This is it, men! Do Scotland proud! Form a So, after that, we've basically destroyed all the factions right now that are going to give me any sort of trouble. I won't be at war with anyone, and I can focus on the Mongols. So, yeah. We have a, a fairly big army here. Not the greatest, but still. <laughs> After this fight, I can actually disband a lot of units in order to um, clear up some of the upkeep, army upkeep. Yeah, you should always be focused on the economy. I'll move everyone forward. I'll move everyone in there. That. I, I always forget to do that, so yeah. Right. Assemble a lot. Okay. Yeah, 
they're, they're just they're just infantry, so they're just peasants and stuff, so. Right. And cavalry. Quite a nice nice castle though. Oh, that's like really white there, Jesus. Is that meant to be that colour? I guess it's just because of sunlight, but damn. Right, anyway. Alright, so these guys are get using the ladder, and I've got these guys up here. And we got the archers firing. Good. Now, he only really has peasants. He's got his general back here, and the ballista there. Well, he doesn't really have that much, so lol. These are more. No, no, these are light infantry. Our um, men have reached he has the something over here. Matters. More peasants, okay. I'll get those guys to go up there as well. Our men are under attack. We must act now. Yeah, I forgot to change their formation, unfortunately. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Okay. So I'm also going to take out the Moorish capital as well. This turn. And the Mongols should be coming around turn 120. So I'm like, I'm like 10 turns away or so. so. You know, it's always great to be really prepared, <laughs> and uh, I think this is the most I've been prepared because I am kind of playing on the one time scale thing. One year for one turn, you know. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Right. Right, okay. And these guys can go fire at them or something. The Lord is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. Yes, we have. Oh, we have them to go attack these peasants even. Okay. It is rather annoying that all the, the the infantry is up there, but they are kind of routing now. And the peasants are coming down, which is an extremely bad move on their part because they're just well, they are routing. So, but uh, yeah, there's basically just a huge, huge army of cavalry right inside the doors, just waiting to capture them. I do like that the, the Our capture feature. Our men are feature. winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You can get a decent amount of uh, florins from capturing enemies and then um, selling them back, ransom ransoming them, especially generals, you know, especially faction leaders and stuff. Um, the get like fifteen thousand for it. And that. They have lost half stuff their like men. That. Right now they're routing. Just chase everyone back here, and we can start attacking these guys. Where did our ballista go? Oh, it's right there. Okay. And lol peasants, well, my infantry. Just start running towards there. Right. Uh, okay. 
I can, I, I'm confident enough to just charge them and use brute force. So, yeah. I will... Yeah, the path's obstructed up here. Thought I could go round there, but apparently not. So I'll set you up, th those guys up there. And everyone else can run. And there's the cavalry charge. Now wedge formation before I get into this. Because I always forget to use that. Right, there we go. Not you though. Uh, yeah, you can go in wedge formation, but stay over here. Since you are a general, but you are just a captain, I guess it doesn't really matter, but uh, may as well. Yeah, my infantry are miles away as well. Doesn't help. I'm hoping to get rid of those ballistas though. With this. With this unit. Man, it's been a while since I've used male knights, really. Because feudal knights are the way to go at this point. No. Oh, you can't even make it through there. That's shit. Well, looks like it doesn't even matter then. Because these ballistas are not going to be able to fire. So I'll speed it up a little. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. <laughs> May as well get to fire on the ballistas. Yeah, they're just running. Ah, no, stop firing. Charge with archers. I can't believe that one time. <laughs> just one with archers mullying. That was ridiculous. Come on. Come on, Venice. You're going down. Just. Except the fall of your empire, like everyone else. They were the ones that really, um... Good news! Our men okay, are they in should be done now. The that really, um... W were allowed to build up their forces as much as possible. And like every other faction, I basically allowed nothing. The enemy king lies dead! Slain by our fearless warriors. Attack while his men mourn their loss. All of Christendom will be in awe and of the there victory we, we have won here today. Clear victory. Oh. And I have taken Rhodes. Kind of a really small island oh, there. It's useless. Gotta get rid Run of this heretic. It. I'm not well sure if, done, if you noticed, oh. but a lot of um, when you own a lot of land, you will eventually I start have. getting a bunch of Force heretics of popping up and rebel rebel um, forces like this God guy. Justice served in our battles. I don't know who this is. Maybe I think that was the Venetians actually. See, uh, and rebel guys will just pop up everywhere. Croatian rebels, eh? I guess it's because it's the region they're in. But, okay, the Cardinals die, and faction destroyed. So, there is quite a lot of rebel villages. I don't know what this guy's doing here. I'll recruit a priest there to take care of that guy. And he, <laughs> Venice was actually going to go attack me here, but in Greece. But now they've become gr Greek rebels. I like how the game does that. It bases it on re regions when... Um, <laughs> Uh, a rebel army is present, not just the faction, like Venetian rebels, even though Venice is all the way over here. So yeah. Byzantines, I could take them so easily because they just have one faction leader. And uh, I might just do that, I don't know, just send, an, just send an army over there. So you could see all my armies just collaborating over there. But uh, sorry about that, guys. I had to go for a while there. So let's go Aye. and attack this Closing place in the enemy. now. Sons of Scotland, okay. stand true, stand victor. 
Now they've got two generals here, they've got their crown prince and their faction leader, which doesn't really help me a lot. Because I have not really any generals here. Right, so that's fine. It's going to be pretty simple getting up there. I'm going to just drop that ladder to be honest. Don't really want it here. Our men are under attack. No, I don't we want need to, to do act. That. I want that one to go up, and you can go and start shooting. Right. Everyone else can head up this way. I kind of want you to. There we go. Right, okay. Mm, they've got quite a lot of units here. I'll put them into that formation. And keep firing. Too bad that uh, Scottish archers kind of suck in general. Like, they have no good archers, really. Which is pretty bad. Some of the other factions, like, I, I believe Portugal has quite a lot of them in, in Spain. Our men are under Those attack. archers are really we must nice. Battering rams in place. Will not be long before our enemy's defences fall. Yep, and then charge in, pretty much. Now, they had a catapult, as I recall, which I want to charge as soon as possible. It's back there. Our men are under attack. We must act now! Alright, I'll do that. Oops. Shit, I dropped the fucking wrong one. Damn it. Our men are under attack. We must oh, act now! Oh, I didn't now. want to do that. Jesus. And more of my guys are dying. God damn it. I meant to <laughs> make these guys drop it, the ones that weren't attacking. Jesus. Our men are under attack. Right. We need to act. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Right. Got some over there as well. Battering ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Right. Okay. And they can stay out there for now. Yeah, yeah, charge them. Wow, oh, that's that's overwhelmed. And they're gonna come down now. Shoot. So Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Right, the catapult was back here. And they're all routing now. Okay. Bring the archers up. Our men are under attack. We must act now! No, the doesn't seem to be attacking right now. 
Uh, we've got some spearmen here. I'm gonna remove everyone from wedge formation there. But basically, since none of them are really, <laughs> they're all routing, so uh, those are some free kills I got there. Free captures as well. Now, I want to attack from two sides, really. So I'm going to have these guys run over here. And, oh shit, they got the catapult doing stuff. Some of my units are going to go attack, okay. Um, I don't really want to lose my general though, so, yeah. Now the cavalry up here, I'll try and run around this way. If I don't turn back, he probably will. They don't seem to like pathfinding, do they? Whatever. I'll just charge, whatever. May as well. <laughs> I really don't want any of these guys I can take round. It's cap holes, man, they'll do extreme damage there. Kind of defending it well there as well. Shouldn't take too long to get round there. Still don't really have a clear path though. Looks like the cap hole is unarmed now though. Which is good. Uh, these guys round here aren't really getting in on the fight. Uh, I don't think there's much I can really do about that though. They can go charge as well. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep these guys alive. Spearman, Spearman. The Ballista Squad. Bomb. Anything else? Not really. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Kind of, kind of pushing the, the heavy cavalry in as well. I think that's both their generals right here. So it would be nice to take both of them out. I will move these guys round because they don't seem to be doing much. So I may as well. Plus they can go attack those spearmen. So that was one of their generals. The Crown Prince, Hampton. There's the Crown Prince Hamden. And their other bodyguards are looking pretty vulnerable. Okay. I sent Andrew! Our men have taken control of the city! And we've taken control of the city. Awesome. Right. Spearmen aren't actually helping their king out, their faction leader. Sultan something. I forget his name. I uh, gonna start moving this way. I took a really long time. Our men have slain the Saracen general. Oof. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. Harsh, but alright. So, Sultan... Wait, what? I thought we slain him. That was the Crown Prince. 
can give me a prompt. Oh well. Jeez. Finally we got around here. And there isn't much left here anyway. In fact, there's nothing here. So, two pronged attack, let's do this. And I think the moors are basically done at this point. Crossbowman just standing there. Both sides, very easy. It's very nice to use flanking. Even for spear cavalry, if you spearmen, it makes it basically the enemy destroys are them. badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. It looks, it looks more than half to me. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Curses! Our men no longer command the city! I never actually noticed these guys back here. What a uh, shouldn't man. I think we are basically done. And I'll just stop these guys firing. They can go and charge if they want. Ah, my lord. Our men are in control of the city. Charging to Molly. Just in case, I'll keep my job. Even though he's just a captain, out. A bit out there. Right. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna go attack Molly with these guys. Come on. Yeah, that guy got his sword out. It's better than nothing, you know? This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Right. Oof. Okay, so that should be the end of the moors. I don't think they have taken yeah. over the um, village or castle over this oh. way. Assume it's a village. Glory to the king Sack. for and Scotland. Yes, it is. So now I have no. There is only three factions remaining in the world: the Papal States, the Byzantine Empire, and Scotland. And None of those factions have any enemies. Although I think the Pope thinks I am shit right now, so I'm gonna go bribe him. My lord. Do you have a proposition for our people? Um so I'll give him regular tribute like I have before. Of excellent and I will What else would you suggest? No, let's not give him map information. I'll give him a thousand just Right now. It seems we goodbye. It has been a pleasure. Right. So that should help. Okay. I can't. The things I want to do. This place is still rolling. Like what the hell? Uh, this place I want to convert it to a castle, so I don't really have to keep a garrison there. And I'm gonna want to start sending these troops over this way in order to take this last region. I think that is the last rebel region on the world map. Pretty much. Pretty sure it is. I like how there's a lot of sections of the world map I can't see, especially this place. This this place is massive. Uh, all these regions down in North Africa here are massive and you can't really see much unless you put watchtowers all over it. That's a rebel. Brigands. My sultan huh? wishes you dead. I'm fairly sure they cannot I not waste words siege, on today. at least they haven't been doing it, but uh, since this is pretty much out in nowhere, I'll, I'll just make some uh, middle knights there just in Aye, case. Sire. 
So yeah, now I'm, I'm, I'm basically putting together the forces over here, but I will record when the, the Mongol threat cutscene comes up for the first time. Shouldn't be too long from now actually, because it, it is around the turn of uh, 1200, 1200 AD. Uh, I can't remember the exact date. Notice that all this, all these uh, assassins I've got out here for no real reason. But I'm thinking that I'm going to go and send this guy and an army over to take over this place. Or actually, Command me. nah. I'll I'll go and send this guy out instead. An enemy to crush. Um, Aleppo doesn't seem to mind. We may come here, lad. So, yeah. Oh. Eh, ballistas are kind of. Yeah. Pikemen. Yeah. Right, okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go take over the Byzantines before the Mongols invade, because, yeah, it's just their faction leader in here. And, uh. Okay. They might Sorry. attack, but. I must remain vigilant. It's it okay. shouldn't no matter. I don't think, Hail. since they have no catapults or anything. So yeah, and the Pope won't mind, of course. So yeah, I'll be right back when I go and uh, siege that place. Might not be Aye. next turn, actually. So yeah. Well, I basically finished up that turn and ready to uh, go to next turn. And there's a bunch of units. I haven't missed, troops, but... Sire. Oh wow, they're Leaving actually the going to attack me first. Splitting up the troops, sire. Huh. Well, I guess they had to do something, you know? Um, no. I'll take that, though. Right, so they actually attacked me. Hmm. They have more money than me currently. Um, yeah, I guess. Byzantines. Upgrade this place. I don't think I'll have enough though to upgrade that place. I don't know if that can use it so when you have enough money it will build it. I don't exactly know. I assume it is. And Cardinals. Okay. Yeah. Look at all that. Right, so. Fleet ready. Uh, where's my army? Command me. Load up and all ashore at once. So I, I I was able to reach there in one turn. Well, you attack me, you douchebags. <laughs> hmm. Fleet ready. Now, I'm gonna assume they're gonna attack no next turn. Throw your sword. They're pretty weak anyway, so like, I don't think they should really be bothered. Um. This, I'm just going to auto-resolve this. Because I was pretty sure I was going to win that. <laughs> and get some more command and loyalty. This guy is not good enough to go <laughs> fight over in the east, unfortunately. Because he's not very good. <laughs> they can go there. Oh yes, I had an army I was sending. Over this Wars way. Plotted, Forgot about that. Until tomorrow, I have a spy over here as well. Oh no, he's in here. Something to investigate. Right, okay. So yes, I'm going to attack this place next turn. Um, Because they went and attacked me. So now I'm going to start going over my armies here. Now, I've got a bunch here. But basically, Aye. I'm, I'm going to eventually move these guys March. out. I saw uh, um, make their armies a little more constructed because basically I got a bunch Aye. of infantry, I got some archers, I got uh, quite a lot of spearmen as well, and I've got catapults. Quite a lot fight? of catapults. So I basically Aye, completely Lord. ready. Move out. Um, the problem is they may spawn up this way. Honor, so I was thinking of putting all my armies around Mosul so I can quickly run up here if. Uh, it turns out they, they're going to spawn up there. Aye, my liege. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. Uh, I should build a chapel here. 
because I forgot to do that last turn. And uh, yeah, love. that basically I got my, all my armies. I got some of my old generals coming over here as well. Though some of them are a bit old. I'm making sure to have a bunch of assassins and stuff. Speaking of, well, I don't seem to get great assassins from this place. Probably because it doesn't have an assassins guild. But uh, that's kind of a shame. But oh well. I don't really need that many spies, honestly. But uh, whatever. So I'm going to be back next turn.